Now, we're going to do a meditation to experience the whole mind-body process as a kind of transparent flow of pure energy. Once again, take a moment to let the body settle and enjoy any stillness and repose that you may feel. Bring your awareness to the body sensations associated with the emotion. But this time, be aware of the ways in which they are moving and changing. When a sensation, either a local one or a widespread global one, increases, Get stronger. Be aware of that and let it. When a sensation decreases, gets weaker, however slightly, be aware of that. If a sensation spreads, be aware of that. If a sensation shrinks, be aware of that. If you feel something pulling inwards, be aware and open to that. If you feel something pushing outwards, likewise, open up to that. If the borders of a sensation bulge out or Collapse inwards ever so slightly, shifting. Be aware of that. Be aware of all of the qualities of movement and change taking place within your body. And give permission for the feeling states to shift and circulate in whatever pattern is natural to them. In order to make this process more precise, you may want to label as follows. Whenever the principle of increase is present, you can say to yourself the word expanding. For example, when a sensation gets stronger, or spreads, or pushes out, this is the expanding principle. Whenever a sensation gets weaker, shrinks, or you feel a force pulling inwards, this is the contracting principle. You may be aware of both at the same time, something pushing out while something pulls in. You can say to yourself, expanding, contracting, expanding and contracting. You may feel many expandings and contractings 
in different areas of the body at the same time. If it's too many to label, don't try, but be aware. As soon as you're aware of decrease, let it happen. Don't hold on. Become enchanted with the changing contour of feeling, the waveform. And the more you pay attention to the movement, the less you'll be caught in the meaning. Let the particle-like solid feelings become waves. Let the materiality become energy. If there are solid parts, parts with pressure, try to see that pressure comes about because something is pulling in while at the same time something else is trying to push out. Let the part that wants to pull in, pull in, even if it hurts a little bit more for a moment. Let the part that wants to push out, push out. And eventually the two forces will pass through each other without colliding. And there'll just be an outward release, a letting go into an expansive infinity, and an inward release, a letting go into an effortless collapse. And keep letting go of the preoccupation with the thoughts for just a few minutes more. Stay with the movement of feeling in the body. And as we did before, if you find that the labeling, expanding, contracting, helps, use it. If not, drop it and just have direct awareness. But if you find yourself getting caught up in the thoughts and feelings, say the words out loud. Crisp and vocal objective, to pull you out of the valley of subjectivity. Now, 
Let go of that and focus on the thinking process. On the images, the talking, the confusion. And observe how the principles of increase and decrease play themselves out moment by moment in the thinking process. When a thought gets louder, expansion. When a thought gets softer, contraction. When the thinking process speeds up, expansion. When the thinking process slows down, contraction. When an associational field spreads in the conscious or unconscious mind, expansion. When the associations die down, contraction. When a thought grips and pulls you, contraction. When it lasts and spreads its influence, expansion. Instead of being caught up in the meanings, become enchanted with the movements. And if you wish, label any principle of increase as expansion, any principle of decrease as contraction. Both may happen at the same time. And treat the thinking mind the same way you treated the feeling body. In terms of its moving energy. Try to become so fascinated with how the thinking process speeds up, slows down, gets louder, gets quieter in a relative way, that you have no time left to become caught up in the meanings. If confusion arises, let it. Let it spread. Let there be nothing but confusion. But watch how it increases and decreases. And to the best of your ability, surrender yourself to that flow of nature. Now, continue to do that, but at the same time, bring your awareness to the movement, the impermanence in the feeling body also, so that now the entire suffering self, the entire emotion is covered with a sense of its movement. When the emotion impacts in the body, watch how the sensations increase and decrease, spread and collapse. When the sensation impacts in the mind, watch how the thoughts speed up or slow down. And let both the thinking mind and the feeling body become integrated as a single energy field. Only distinguish 
the movements of expanding and contracting as they blow through the mind and body. If this produces fear or disorientation, just watch how the fear and disorientation itself expands and contracts. On the other hand, it may become like a massage that actually nurtures you and takes you into a deeper and deeper state. This is the art of escaping into the emotion. You may experience a sense that there is a field of energy that is simultaneously releasing outwards and inwards. You may experience a sense of circulation. If any such phenomena happen, let them massage you. Just as the energy in the fingers of a body worker breaks up the blockages in the physical muscle, so let the energy in the movement of these thoughts and feelings break up the psychological solidity Soften the very substance of your soul. Now, if to some extent you are able to experience the difficult emotion, not as a difficult emotion, but as pure motion, if it has become to some extent more of a transparent energy, then you're in a situation where you can begin to produce intentionally positive thoughts that lead to pleasant emotional flavors. Produce those images which for you evoke all that is best in terms of positive human feeling, friendliness, love, compassion, gratitude, Forgiveness of self and others. And as you intentionally create these thoughts, 
Let those pleasant and positive feeling qualities pour into the energy field that is your thought and feeling until they fill it up. And leave no more room for poison or pain. And if you're able to do this, then let the positive feeling tones spread out from the energy field of the mind and body out into the space around you and go to those individuals who may be the source of difficult emotion for you. Spread positive emotion in their direction. And with those individuals who are the source of difficult emotion, with whom you may be actually interacting, imagine as you're talking and being with them the things that they do producing difficult emotions and you experiencing those difficult emotions clearly and allowing them to break up into an energy flow and then coloring that energy flow with positive emotion and returning that positive to them moment by moment during your interaction in real life as love, compassion, forgiveness, gratitude. Abide in this noble abode, whether you choose to remain still for a while or to get up and return to the day's activities. Stay with this orientation. 